what's going on fellow rangers welcome back to another video here on power rangers legacy wars my name is john snow today is the day we finally get the patch notes that we all been waiting for today is november 17th of 2021 and has officially finally gave out the patch notes i have yet to read this so literally everything is going to be just straight reaction and first reading first thoughts so let's just begin uh let's just get this started we're not gonna even waste any more time balance updates okay here we go this patch will address the strength of various characters in order to provide a more fun and balanced gameplay experience we are buffing some more characters so previously previously lesser characters may receive newfound abilities in various modes read on for more details Dauphine leader okay with Dauphine Aqua Combo no longer being a mix-up strike, Dauphine will only have one mix-up cancel in her kit, preventing her from being relentlessly aggressive. The hit reaction charge to Hydro Slash and the cost increase to Bubble Shot will, will reduce the upper limits of her combos. So Aqua Combo changed second hit reaction from Stagger into Interrupt. Okay. Bubble Shot increased from 3 to 4. Hydro Slash change last hit reaction from launch to knock down mm, okay so Dauphine, i usually do play her a lot of times on you know the challenge modes because i think she's very good in challenge modes um she definitely got nerfed uh because they're saying that you can't do mix up no longer in her kit so that's kind of an l <laughs> And increasing her bubble shot from three to four even sucks more because most times you see her like she can't do anything after like two hits. So now it's definitely like after two hits, you can't do anything. So <laughs> launch into uh, from a launch into a knockdown. Wow. Yeah. Kind of sucks. <laughs> Dolphin got uh, nerfed. I definitely going to look. We're definitely going to do some gameplay videos on a lot of these characters. But yeah, that's, uh, I don't know. That might definitely be a very, very hurtful for Delphine. I don't know how good she's going to be anymore. So uh, that's my reaction on that. Uh, just reading just bare minimum without looking at any gameplay. Uh, Connor McKnight. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Tyrannal Staff, despite being a breaker, is very fast. To lower its frequency of usage without taking away the fun, it gets a cost increase. No. <laughs> Connor has no trouble opening a, a defensive option, uh, um, a defensive opponent due to Tyrannal Staff speed, uh, making a Thunder Max Saber mix up a bit of an overkill. Now he will have to use it after launching the opponents. Uh, speed Cyclone's re reaction has changed to help uh, facil facil facilitate this. Thunder Max Saber changed from second hit reaction free to interrupt. I don't know what they mean by interrupt. Interrupt, I don't know if they mean by stagger. Um, I do not know what that means. So, I, I again, I don't know what that means. Trano staff increased from 3 to 4. That sucks. Uh, speed cyclone change from last reaction hit from stagger to knock down. So, that means a sweep. I do not know what they mean by interrupt. So, again, I, I don't... Hmm. <sighs> That sucks. They didn't lower the speed on Tyrannal Staff, which is good. But they did increase the cost, which kind of sucks. So definitely Connor got, an, uh, got a nerf there. Again, I do not know without looking at gameplay. I cannot see if this is good or not. Um, from stagger to knockdown, I do not know what they mean by interrupt. So yeah, we're going to continue going. So that kind of sucks for Connor, though. Uh, Tommy Oliver white ninja leader. All right, so let's see what they did to my boy Tommy Not only did ninja Tommy had an overwhelming offense, but he also had highly damaging combos causing by his super mode Various changes were made to his attacks to dampen the effectiveness effectiveness of each But he can still do some crazy things while being above the average of most characters on the right setup the right assist setup. So that means now he needs assist. Let's take a look. Ninja Strike EP cost from 2 to 3. Ninja Strike during Super Mode still costs 2 EP. Okay. I will accept that. Okay. 
teleport attack delayed activation of the hitbox when the attack begins change last hit reaction from launch to knockdown that's good because that's sl- that lowers the window uh dashing impact reduce a startup attack speed slightly change last hit reaction from knockdown to stagger again i'll take it it changes that okay uh, kunai jujitsu changed the one hit percent reaction from stagger to interrupt is dodgeable three frames sooner uh dash branch added after first hit uh reduction damage by 15 percent okay and then uh falcon uh dive kick increase ep cost from four to five uh change last hit reaction from knockdown to launch reducing damage by 20 percent okay so that's his falcon uh dive kick okay we're gonna have to take a look here really quickly so if we take a look at tommy um uh, that that's probably when he's on his super mode right yeah okay that's probably when he's on his super mode all right i'll take it again i need to see gameplay but this definitely looks good on paper i do not know how he plays or performs yet um this is a good change i'm happy to see this thank goodness uh danny Dalg- danny Dalgado leader oh my gosh he needs work danny has been infamously weak for a long time of course those changes will now allow danny to finally do some consistent combos additionally axe fury cannot be canceled in order to do it safely and have bison charge available more often Wild kick combo uh, change last hit reaction from interrupt to stagger. That's always really good. Uh, Bison charge added uh, dash dash branch in action branch after first hit increasing damage up to seventy five percent. Okay. Uh, Actually added dash branch after first hit after second hit increased attack speed slightly. Okay, this could be very very good because uh, Axe Fury he definitely needed that buff here where is it at um yeah that actually you definitely need to speed up and you also need to have that i think that's a cancel when it means dash branch for after first hit i believe that means that you can cancel out of it which is great so that's really good to see a uh, kia leader interesting with the hit reaction charge to kia punch kia will be able to guarantee combos without using uh of launch assist kia punch change reaction from stagger to knockdown that's good uh increase attack slightly speed for a uh, descending triumph okay that's good that's a positive change she needed she needed that pop-up assist in order to be doing her attack safely that's really good so that's a buff on kia i like that mesagog leader okay <laughs> mesagog <laughs> mesonotic range had uh has had its speed increased making it even trickier to block pipe Poisonic Brain Blast can now be used as a combo starter or even a surprise attack. Helping Mezagog, I love cars in, in, in uh, my city. Helping Mezagog out of uh, a lot in general. Mezzo Flash gain invisibility after activation to prevent rare cases where he would get hit anyway after this successful counter. Yeah, that's, that's, that's cool. Mezagog Rage increased attack speed slightly. Uh, his Brain Blast changed the first reaction for interrupted sweep. Okay. Uh, added invisibility frames during offense. Okay, that's not bad. Mezzo Flash. I it, basically he got a huge buff. I cannot wait to see how good Mezagog is. Jason Lee Scott Gold Zeal. Oh my goodness, this man needed a huge rework by changing the third reaction of quadruple kick. Gold Zeal Jason won't need to worry about almost juggling times causing the attack to be unblockable or to be blockable lord's assault always was always a mix-up once it started but <laughs> uh, sorry if it's first hit being reactable preventing it from being effective with a dash branch before the first hit it can mix up no matter what quadruple quick kick change hit reaction on third hit from inter- interrupt to sweep okay that's good leg sweep increase attack speed slightly that's good added a dash branch before first hit okay i do not know exactly what all that means but it looks good it looks positive 
I cannot wait to play as Gold Zeal because obviously you guys know Gold Zeal is one of my favorite characters or Rangers of all time. Um, he needed the buff, so I'll take it. We'll play as him probably later on today. Daishi Leader, a Phantom uh, Phantom Beast, was changed to be more consistent in combos and usable as mixed up with an impressive range. Uh, ferocious Roar cost reduction will make a big difference, allowing him to do longer combos. Oh my goodness, why? Uh, reduction cost five to four. Phantom Beast added a branch after first hit. Change uh, first. Change first air hit reaction for interrupt to sweep. Okay. They buffed Daishi. Daishi might get more ridiculous later. We'll take a look. Holy smoke. Cam assist. Uh, Wind Walker Saber was a very useful assist on paper, but it wasn't seeing much use. Its damage increase will make it a bit more worthwhile. And the ability to act sooner afterwards will help it as a combo starter as well increase damage by 10 percent branch point occurs sooner than before so that means now you can actually combo with this assist before we before you couldn't eric myers assist fs variant didn't do much to stand out for its five cost exactly so it was made cheaper to be more in line with the other counter assist that can do five to four that's the buff which is good so ultimately this patch notes looks very very good I, I'm happy that Tommy got slapped down a bit. He definitely needed it, but we, I need to see everything on paper. Or This is paper, but I need to see everything in action for me to give my full, full analysis on how good this balance patch was. Uh, finally, my, my thing is, though, with Enway, see, they know what we want. My problem is, is that they're so inconsistent on balance changes like every six months that is so damn stupid these balance changes need to be at least every month or two months to maybe even three months at most because when you have toxic characters like ninja tommy plaguing the ladder and you obviously you obviously see like how how annoying it was for a lot of people a lot of people were just upset of, of the character because it's just too toxic um you know, dealing with that for X amount of months is not a fun game experience. So I would love to see more balance updates and bring characters from like very low tier, like Danny Degato, and and bring them actually to a competitive competitive standpoint. This is what we want. We want more consistency of you know less used leaders and give them love, so that way they can actually be more useful. So. They know what they they know that they can do this, but they need to be more frequent and more and doing this just just way more. So I like the changes that I see here currently. Uh, I, it kind of sucks that Connor got slapped from three to four, but they didn't change the speed, which is nice. Uh, but you know, I mean, again, I have to see everything as we play, and then I can give you my give you guys my full full thoughts. But I'm definitely happy to see some of these balance changes for sure. So with that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below of all the balance changes. And I'll see you guys on the next video of Power Rangers Legacy Wars. Peace out.